there guys welcome back to another video here on Garrett Jenner's sim racing channel because I don't play skateboarding games anymore that's sarcasm I will before we even start the video watch how much better I got okay starting right now Alright, I'm still not good, but I'm getting better. If you guys watched the last video on this channel, it was me getting the motion sim rig, and it was me experiencing it for the first time playing uh, Dirt Rally 2.0. The reason I got it, uh, besides just actually having fun with it, God, I lost it, man. It was to practice drifting. Uh, a lot of you may not actually know that I got, let's well, just slam on the brakes there. I got a 1989 Nissan 240SX in real life, as I, I want to actually learn how to drift and take it to tracks and have a project car to work on, make content with, and just, you know, have a typical midlife crisis with. However, it just so happens that crashing a drift car isn't very cheap, and crashing a sim is much cheaper. So the, uh, the real reason that I, I got the sim was to actually practice drifting accurately, and with my old Logitech setup, it was fun, it was a hell of a lot of fun, but it wasn't accurate. Being able to actually feel the... The, the pull of the car, the, the weight shift during drifts and whatnot is huge when it comes to drifting. So, I figured, here it is, it's starting to click. Going from, from Dirt Rally to Assetto Corsa is a lot like going from Skate 3 to Skater XL, where it takes a sec for my brain to click. Here we go, let me see if I can hold it to the middle part. Yank the e-brake. Yep, there it is. There's one thing I've learned. It's that I can't talk while <laughs> while I'm drifting. My multitasking abilities are not there. Come on, come on, Garrett, piece this together. Yep. Yep. the donut. Nah, we lost it there. I'm getting better though, I really am. Today, I thought it could be fun to try a variety of maps with the full motion sim and just realistically practice my drifting. As always with my uh, Assetto Corsa content, I have my pedals in the bottom left. Any tips and pointers and tricks are greatly appreciated. I do want to actually, oh, before anything, hold on. I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to blatantly say it, that I, I bought this thing when I couldn't afford it. And I'm in a very, I'm a very impulsive person. And I would love for this to pay itself off through my content. So if you guys could do me a huge favor, there's a button for this. Not even being like ironic or sarcastic or anything, but every single thumbs up on the videos really does help push the videos into the YouTube algorithm, which in turn gives me more views, helps grow my channel and helps pay off stupid financial decisions like this one. So if you haven't yet, it takes a second of your time. Every single thumbs up helps. It means the world to me. It allows me to make stupid decisions like this. And I think the content will, will pay off. I'm having the time of my life with this thing. We're in Japan, I believe, right? So we drive on this side of the road. I also, I want to move my handbrake and my shifter to my left side like I would for a right hand drive car. I want to go through almost like I would realistically and I, I would feel out the road first. You know, maybe I get a little happy. Okay, throw, a, throw a little drift here and there, but I want to just feel out the road first before we start setting it. Oh, I got a little excited there. This motion platform is super new to me as well, and I'm still figuring out how to fine tune the settings. It's extremely customizable. So I have it at like a quarter of its motion potential right now. Cause like you, I could swing it so far, but then it kind of loses its realism. And I mainly just want it to feel the weight shift. If anyone out there, hold on. I think the end's right here. That's the end. If anyone out there has uh, a full motion sim, or more specifically the DOF Reality H3, and has some tips and tricks and pointers for me, please let me know. Do not hesitate to reach out. Now that we've had our first drive through, our first drive around, we can start sending it. Based on your guys' comments, what you've been telling me in my YouTube videos, as well as my Twitch streams, is to focus more on uh, 
cl uh, b -b 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 I can't talk while I'm doing this. Hold on. Focusing more on using the, the gas pedal versus the e-brake and get my throttle control down and then start working on the e-brake. I'm still trying to figure out how to piece this part of it together because I can do that pretty decent then I reach this straight I get kind of confused. What do you mean by that? Same with this one right here. I can get these two. Hold on. Oh. But then I reach the straight and panic and right here this is the beginning of where I'm, I'm, I'm not half bad, all right? I was able to do this pretty consistently with the old Logitech setup. I've been experimenting a lot with left foot braking. I had to pull the e-brake there to get me back on track. Like right here, I'm gonna left foot brake to keep me in line. Close to the outside. Got a left foot break here. Ah, the end was right there, dude. This is the replay. I, I honestly, I honestly really do think that I'm seeing progression each time I film an Assetto Corsa video, a drift video, which is a really cool feeling. I feel like I'm getting my lines better. I'm feeling the car more. That was a little bit sketchy. Especially here. I'm on the outside a lot more of like I should be That was sick this one Perfect line that felt so good held it all the way through I want to see where I messed up and see if I can figure out what I did wrong and try to fix it Was it this one? Okay, I gave it too much gas at the end. I got this I'm gonna try to do the whole thing from start to finish like these two included. Tell me what I'm doing wrong All right so I feel like here, I need to e-brake. And then, see, see what I mean? Like there, I just get confused. This one's the same shit. I gotta swing it wide. Oh! That's why I love the full motion to them. I don't want this video to be all on one track. So after this, I'm gonna find a new one. have to use the handbrake there I feel like I get so squirrely right there I just I really don't know what to do here oh please save this one please save this one please save this one I'm so sideways I'm, I'm relying on the handbrake too much just make it all the way down man please I don't care if it's pretty. Oh! That's it. That's it. My inner skateboarder is showing. I said one more try, and I already know that I'm not walking away until I do this whole map. Which is perfectly gonna be right here. Because I'm clearly the best drifter that you guys have ever seen! We're gonna pretend that was clean, okay? that angle back. There we go. Handbrake. This last one always gets me. There it is. That was perfect. That, that's the end of the map. That actually wasn't that bad. The beginning was definitely a little bit rough. Initiation was good. That was... So that I should have been more on the outside. I like watching the replays. Oh, uh, that, that, that was the only mistake and that wasn't terrible. From there, I actually think that it was okay. I probably think it looks fine, but someone in, in the comments would be like, that was actually terrible. That was the exact opposite of what you should be doing, which is fine. Tell me that, I, I do want to know. That was the turn that always messes me up. So that one felt good to get. Yeah, that was, there's a button for that. Thank you, thank you, you're too kind. Let's try, I downloaded a bunch of new drift maps. 
I just want to try some of these out. I talked about this in the dirt rally video, but I'm using my webcam for my camera because it has a way wider field of view. So that's why the quality is kind of doo-doo cheeks. I'm just going to send it. I don't even know this track yet, but I'm going to do the whole thing first try. All right. Second gear. Uh, yep. Oh, that's longer than I thought. I get that a lot. That rhymes and she's a thought. I'm singing now. That's what I was taught. I don't know what I'm doing or where to go. Oh, I'm still going? Oh, okay. That's fine. Damn, this is a this is a really cool map. I downloaded some maps that are just way too hard for me to figure out because I'm obviously still a very, very, very newbie beginner. But this one, besides the fact that I'm driving in a cornfield right now, feels pretty good. We're at a drift track. Let's show up in style, shall we? Holy shit. That worked so much better than I thought it did. Woo! Up, I'm trying to work on that feathering the throttle. That, that was the whole track, no? We're back at the beginning. I did the whole track. I did the whole track, 100%. We are back where we started. I'm in the zone. E brake there to correct my angle. This downhill part is really cool. Dude, I'm a, I'm a god. I'm officially... Gone. We're doing two laps right now. Didn't even have to handbrake that one. Left foot braking action. <laughs> oh! Wow! I want to watch that replay. We even we entered this one in style, didn't we? We did. Did we hit the cone though? Oh, we didn't hit the cone! Dude. Th yeah, this thing was expensive. I've already gotten my money's worth. I, I, I may not be able to afford my mortgage this month, but it was 110% worth it. I wanna see this one, because I think, yeah, I had to e-brake there because I was going a little bit wide, but I, I managed to save it. it it's, a, it's a really actually cool feeling to be able to actually see my progression from my first Aceto Corsa video, my first Aceto Corsa Drift video, to this. Because I, I really, really, really do think I'm improving. And I'm learning a lot too, which is sick. So thank you guys for the comments that have been teaching me. It's apparently very helpful. Oh, you got a little bit of dirt action there. Wow. All right, cool. Now, I, I can already hear you guys. Good, Assetto Corsa isn't just about drifting. I got you. I also, you guys saw the LA Canyons map already. We've done videos on that before. We also have this, which is probably one of my favorite maps to drive in Assetto Corsa. The full motion sim isn't always about how much you can move, how cool you can drift. No, some of it's about having fun, living life eating ass. What better way to spend your day than driving one of your dream cars at one of the most scenic locations in the world? Listen to this thing, ready? This thing's insane. That rotary engine idle though. It's just like a, a lot of the motion with this sim is subtle. How like when I slam on the brakes, it pushes me forward. If I accelerate, it pushes me back. If I'm in fourth and I downshift to third, it's like a slight, like what you'd feel in real life. And it's so 
immersive and cool feeling. I just want to drive and try not to crash. <laughs> Oh, there's no sixth gear in this car, whoops. I have my motion set way lower in Assetto Course than I do for for Dirt Rally, because it feels more real. But like when you when you take turns, you can see slightly going to the right as, as the G-Force would apply to me in real life. You can see the, the chair tilt. All right, I'm gonna drive aggressive till I crash and then I wanna try something. Oh, by the way, this in VR, because I have the valve index, this in VR, actually mind-blowing like so mind-blowing I can't even do it you can feel every little bit of traction loss too the second your back wheel starts sliding the chair starts to slide 148 miles an hour right now oh wow we saved that this thing has the e-brake right Yes, I've been doing this a lot. I'll make it middle of the night, pouring rain and thunder, and just driving around. Is it Shutoku? Am I pronouncing that right? When I'm in my feelings, I'll just, you know, play some Mac Miller, Juice World, some good old fashioned old school vibes. Wow, is, is that old school now? That's kind of gnarly. RIP to two legends, by the way. But I'll, I'll put on some, some music like that and drive through the rain. I won't speed or do anything, I'll just, do what I wish I could do in real life. I usually do do this in VR because this in VR hits different with the with the the rain, the way it interacts with the windshield. It's a trip with the full motion sim. I still see the shadows in my room. Da, 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 da. It's uh, it's 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 it, okay. I I'm getting blown away by this. Let's go this way this time. I don't actually know what this way is. So I'm kind of driving like a little weenie. I just really hope. There's not a turn coming up in there is, isn't there? Slow it on down. There we go, we're good. Whoever out there says that money can't buy happiness has clearly never owned a full motion racing sim. I've been super stressed lately, not in the healthiest headspace, and I this this machine has brought me more joy and happiness <laughs> than any therapist could have offered me. I'm pretty sure there is online lobbies for this map too, where you and your homies can just drive around like in a pack of JDM cars, like in the rain, listening to music. I haven't tried that yet, but that's like, that's next on my bucket list of things to do in Assetto Corsa. Oh, it's getting hard to see, man. It's raining hard around here. We're going 100 and 172 in fifth gear. That's crazy. Oh, so I think we did a full loop. I think we're back to where we started because I went up there to the right last time. This is so. This is a cool. This is a cool track because this is just you can send it on the freeway going 150 the whole time. Dude, look at the way the faster you go, the rain interacts with the windshield. That's a turn. That was absolute best case scenario, crashing in the rain, going 168 miles an hour. We got a, a minor fender, oh. A major fender bender, but that's it. The last thing I wanna try is drifting at night in the rain. I just wanna see what it's like. My go-to drift car is the, it's from the WDT pack. And I use the the 180 SX, the street the street version because it's a modded car. It doesn't have a working windshield for some reason, so we don't get those rain effects. But just want to test my familiarity. This course. Oh. That's crazy. I wouldn't even be able to tell that I'm drifting except I can feel it in the chair. You know, that is bizarre feeling. Weak ass headlights on this thing though. Oh man, dude, that's a that's a whole different challenge right there. I wanna try going the other way. Cause I, whenever, I'm, this is like my practice track. I, I get familiar with cars here. I wanna try to doing it backward. I can't even see. Lightning just saved me. Oh, wow, I want to watch that. Those headlights don't do shit. Oh, we held it through there, though. I held this one. And that one. We lost it here because I couldn't see the grass there. But, dude, that was... Jesus. This is the most fun I've had in a while. I, I really do hope that you guys enjoy the, the 
racing content with Emotion Sim because I'm having the time of my life on with this thing. I've been streaming on Twitch, link in description for uh, that if you want to check it out. I actually opened up our private Assetto Corsa server. Um, so tune in the stream if you want to be a part of that, if you want to drift and tandem with us. Feel free. I just hit my mic and I can't see. Yeah, that you... Jeez. That's a wrap. Peace out, guys.